So if you saw the non-service video on this, because there was nothing when we opened it up that could be adjusted and I couldn't find any hidden menus, uh, we've got this uh, Joe Pix 900 Pro. I had vowed I wasn't going to buy any more new sets because they doesn't seem to be much you can do with them. But what attracted me to this when I saw it in the wholesaler's catalogue was it's got an OLED display that mimics a traditional S meter. It's got real switches, although it's got the centric, the concentric squash. It's got auto squash, which you can switch off uh, because it does have menus. And although we can't flick between CPT and UK, which we can on some sets, you don't have to turn it off because it can be done from, which you'll see when we get to the 5R point. From, it's got a stupid echo, which is very disappointing and. I'm not sure it's going to sound very good with the deviation being as low as it is and not being adjustable. So it's doing 3.1 watts and it's a 24 volt radio and you can turn the bleeps off as well. Has Roger bleeps, five options and they're all silly. Tango 21 Mr Chippy. Tango 21 go ahead. Roger Dodger, I am ready. Roger that, off we go then. Roger. Hopefully. Yep, we're in. I like the display, it's dimmable. Right, we're passing the house and recording. Roger on that, and on this radio, there's no tone control. Yep, Roger that. Roger got you at the end of the lane. Ancaster service station 134.9 and 142.9. By the way, we're early, are they late? <clears throat> well, we're supposed to close at 7 officially, I think. It's 28 minutes past. Ready, Dodger. We're now square wheeled out to Ancaster Crossroads. Where have you got your Ancaster Crossroads? Passing through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, got you going through Ancaster Crossroads.
might be, we're now going around a scratchy corner, Wilsford, over. Roger, you're loud and clear, going around scratchy corner at Wilsford. On Tango 21 from GP, we're now going around a scratchy corner, Wilsford, over. Roger, got you loud and clear, going around scratchy corner at Wilsford. On a brand, on a brand new Joe Fix 900 Pro, doing 3.1 watts, I'm on the Fact Original Electra to Mike. Roger. Roger, apart from the silly beep at the end, uh, it's all nice and loud and clear. Roger, Dodger. Roger Bleeps. Yeah, no, ridiculous. Don't appear to anybody over 14. <laughs> Too busy playing. Yeah, Roger, I've got rid of the key bleeps as well. that no problem a bit noisy tonight I can hear other stations in the background but uh, other than that I can read you quite well so uh, over to CPT CPT FM is a slight fatter this end but not too stupid roger that call me when you get there Thank you. 
Mr. Chippy, EU 31. Tango 21, loud and clear. Uh, about the same sort of signal as on the uh, UK, over. Believe it or not, I'm hearing you better, but if that doesn't work uh, any better on these lower frequencies, I did check. Right, we're going to go to AM now. Roger that, see you there. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, AM CBC. Yep, Tango 21, uh, loud and Probably not as clear as FM, but not too bad. Roger, see you back on the UK. Uh, yep, Roger, see you back there. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy. Tango 21, go ahead. Right, up you go when you're ready. Yep, Roger that. Roger got you the five mile point. So uh, once again on the Joe Peaks 900 Pro, a current model in 2025, uh, it's doing 3.1 watts. I'm on an Electret mic, which is the factory original. So um, there you go. Now um, uh, once you've acknowledged that, I'll switch to CBT. CPT FM is a slight faff at this end, but not too stupid. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, EU 31. Believe it or not, I'm hearing you better, but this set doesn't work uh, any better on these lower frequencies. I did check. Right, we're going to go to AM now. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, AM CPT. Roger, see you back on UK uh, FM. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy. Right, off you go when you're ready. Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy, we're now going over Rollsby Lover Crossing. Over. Oh well, didn't really get much of that, but 137.9 and 143.7. Okay, Roger, this one, point three, double well, what you did. Um, uh, go to ten, ten. Yep, Roger that. Like I said, there is interference on this channel today, so that's not going to help. No, I can tell how it is. On the whole, it's a fine as long as you're receiving me. It's receiving on the very good. Yep, roger that. 10-10. 10-10, thank you. Roger, got you.
you going over? Rossby level crossing. Have you got a petrol price for me today at that end, please? Over. Okay, Roger, on that, that works reasonably well for what it is. And uh, so, 10 10. No, I can tell how it is, and um, on the whole, it's fine as long as you're receiving me. Because the receive on this is very good. Yeah, we'll 10 10. thank you. Okay, well, that worked fine on receive. So, my only misgivings is 3.1 watts on transmit, and uh, the deviation is lower than we would like it to be. But there you are, no adjustments, and we'll see what that sounds like when I edit the video. So, we'll go over to our base station and see what it actually sounds like on a real radio. Tango 21 testing the Joe Biggs 900 Pro into our Midland 76900 base station. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And uh, we'll see what we can repair for. I know there's an Amstrad 901 in, on its way. And I know we've got an Amstrad 901 of our own which wants sorting. It's all Amstrad 901s. Thanks for watching.